I got here a 2022 Toyota Corolla straight from the auction. Customer complaint is there's multiple electrical issues. So let's go through them. Number one, the windows don't work, meaning they work from their own switches, but not from the master switch. So this one doesn't work at all. Um, the radio doesn't work. I mean, the screen's blank. Uh, and the AC doesn't work. I'm using a new tool here. I'm using the X-Tool IP919. X-Tool sent it to me. Um, it's their new tool. It's a 10 inch screen, topology, um, you know, has it all. FCA gateway, connected over here to the PCI, which I wish that this cable was a little longer. Could be the bigger extension cable. Um, all right, let's just do an auto scan. Let's turn the key on, auto scan. I'm it's 97 degrees outside. So I don't know if this video is gonna work out. Toyota. Okay, with smart key, with electric parking brake, automatic scan. All right, well, it's using it. I'm not speeding it up. This is really quick. Well, got a few more modules. Um, what else we got here? Secondary collision, brake system malfunction. We got all the lights on. This window doesn't work. Those windows officially work from their, yep, they work from their own switches. Okay. This tool has, um, it doesn't have a kickstand, but it looks like there's three screws here that it could have one in the future, or maybe it came in the kit, I don't know. It has a camera. It's a C charger. Um, it comes with a base with a barrel style connector, but there's nowhere for me to keep that in the car, so. Um, all right, that's done. Let's do a report. Okay, what do we got? I'm just gonna save it. I like the way the top down lets you email it straight from the report. Here it can't, so whatever. Now, if that's important to you. All right, so in the engine, we have a lot of comp codes with rocker arm control module. I'm not getting involved with that right now. I was not called for that. When I'm done with the other stuff, we'll see. All right, we have power the mass switch electronic control unit communication stop. So that would be this right here, which makes sense why it doesn't work. In the AC, we have malfunction of communication. So that's probably why the AC doesn't work. All right, let me just stop this car. So it does turn on. Okay. It's the blower blow. And the blower blows. It just doesn't get cold, I guess. Okay, fine. So we'll worry about that later. I'll shut it off so lower it so you can hear me okay well right, let's see let's go in here we're gonna go to diagnose no live data all right one thing i'm not into on <clears throat> this on x tools scan tool this is the other one also the d7w they put the data pids in some order that they decided they like it's not alphabetical order i, I couldn't figure out how to change it and it's just really annoying to have to go through all the data pids. Now there is a search feature, but I don't know, sometimes it doesn't work. Some, like sometimes it will just say nothing's there, even though there clearly is something there. I mean, it's probably something they could easily fix in an update. Um, let's type in window. See, right away it says no relevant data. If we type in door, where I know it says door, it says re no relevant data. So I don't understand how to use that. It did work the first time I tried it. It's not working now. So, for now, I'm going to leave it. Okay, I don't even want to go to this now. I don't know why I went here. Let's look at a diagram for this window switch. All right, let's go to window. Powers, let's just see if we're missing a power, because this thing doesn't light up at all. So, I'm assuming we're just missing a power to this window. Hmm. Hold that, it changed the color of their things. It's orange instead of blue. Okay. Where does this get a power from? ECU B fuse. Those are the doors. Let's just select this. Okay, so the main one is ECU B, which goes here, comes to this thing, to the actual switch. But for now, the main fuse we have to check right now is 
this ECU B2 fuse, which is instrument panel junction box. Left end of dash. Oh boy. What do we need? ECU ignition. ECU B top fuse. It's a 10 amp. All right, that fuse is blown. There's no chance you could tell. Power on one side, no power on the other. Okay, so that was one diagnosis. Okay, I got that fuse in. Does this work now? And it does. All the windows work. Okay, we got windows. Now, let's turn the AC back on. Let's see if that works. Put it on auto. And does the screen work? Okay, screen still doesn't work. AC. Let's see, is it getting cold? Definitely doesn't feel like it. All right, at least we have windows now. I can open this front window. Can't tell if it's cooler or hotter. And I want to look at the fuses for the screen. Radio and display receiver assembly. ECU ignition four. See, this is the ignition power. The ECU B2 fuse, which is the one we replaced, is for the stereo. So, all right, that was one part that was missing. Actually, that's for the navigation ECU, center of dash. Alright, we got some more fuses here. We got an ECU accessory fuse. That feeds the radio and display receiver. Okay. We got a hot at all times radio fuse. And a meter ignition 2 fuse. And, of course, they're all under there where you can't see anything. So, let's start with checking these fuses. And then I'm going to check all the fuses underneath. Just so we get that fuse box out of the way. All right, here it goes. Let me just see what the code says. Let's clear all the DCs. All right, so we have this. Cancel, let's just do a DDC report. We still got this lost con with rocker arm control module A. That's it. The AC is clear. Diagnose. Just quickly look at the AC, see what we have here. Read the DCs. All right, malfunction of communication bus we still have. Um, let's look at live data. Ambient temp sensor. All right, my GoPro shut off because it was too hot. Um, we're gonna try this again. MB temp sensor. Um, what else do we need? We need EVAP, fin thermistor, target temp, regulated pressure sensor, control current. All right, that should tell us enough. Let's just check set temperature of driver's side. Okay, click custom. Here we get a list. So the ME temp is 103, 102, which makes sense. The EVAP fin the mister is at 50. And the target temp's of 35. The regulated pressure sensor is saying it's 204 PSI on the high side. And the control kind of regulator is 800 milliamps, which is good. That means it's giving 800 milliamps to the solenoid to turn the compressor on. And the driver set temperature is maximum cold, so it knows it's cold. So we know the AC is really working. It's just a blend door issue or some type of synchronization. Or it could be that communication code is causing that issue. But that's why it's hot air coming out of here. It's not that the AC is not working. It's, it seems like the AC is working. So let me just go see if there's any special functions for this. All right, server motor initialization. The ignition is on. The AC is off. Okay, so let's put ignition on. AC is off. Okay. Press OK. 
when the def indicator stops blinking or the auto indicator is the frost indicator stops blinking that is over here initialization is complete it never blinked um should we try it Yeah. Is this cold? No, but it's not hot as before. Let me shut the windows. Yeah, this is AC. I mean, it's taking time, but... Yeah, we got AC. Or of some sort. We'll give it a minute. That was cool. All I needed was a server motor. Yeah, it's definitely getting cold. All right, two down. We have AC. We have working windows. Showing 100 degrees there. I'm gonna put this guy right here. In the vent. That's internal. External is 89. Let's watch it go down. 88. All right, it's something that I'll put it right here. All right, we'll let that go. Do its thing. Oh, okay, now it can work. All right, so now we have the ECM. Okay, that we know is an issue, but I want to fix the stereo. So we're going to have to check these fuses over here. ECU would be to be replaced already. Um, ECU ignition 4 fuse. Okay, let me get under there. Alright, I just want to blow through all these fuses quickly. So I'll have to keep coming under here. And I'm going to check it against the chart to make sure the ones that are missing are supposed to be missing. And I'll bring you back. All right, well, I'm in the middle of checking, and this is the radio fuse, and it's blown. So, I'm probably just gonna finish so we don't know if there's any more blown. All right, I got the fuse replaced. Is it on? Yes, it's on. And I broke another clip. Yeah, I do that a lot. But we do have some other codes in the main body. Here's another thing I don't like about the scan tool is when you click on a module, what I'm used to is the top down, it pulls up on the side, it says what the DTC is. Now I have to go into diagnose to see what it is. A little bit annoying. So here, cancel, I right, push the wrong thing. It just says the amount of DTCs. But you could push DTC report, and it'll just give you all the DTCs and all the modules, which is pretty cool. But, and it comes up instantly. It's not like it has to run a, a report. So we still have this loss communication rack around control module A. I'll probably look at that just to make sure it's not blown fuses again because we already had a few of those. Range performance of throttle motor control. We still have loss communication, that's a history code. I wouldn't worry about those because they're back online. All right, so let's look quickly at this code. Rocker arm control module A. I don't know what this code is, so we're gonna go U011B. The continuous variable valve lift controller assembly. There's a VVT fuse. Let's go check that VVT fuse. Thirty amp VVT. It's one of these. Yep, that's blown. See that? Well, pop the cover off. Um, ground.
power and no power. I'm gonna run a 4 amp test light through this fuse. All right, it doesn't look blown. It doesn't look shorted. It's not lighting up. It would light up if if it was shorted because it would be. This could carry four amps. So if it was carrying more than four amps right now, it would light up bright, and it's not. So let's see now if I can clear the codes. Could be it's not commanding it on, and once it commands it on, it will light up. You want to raise? Okay. Let's turn this off and that on. All right, uh, clear all DTCs. We're down to three codes. All right, DTC report, range performance of throttle. These are all permanent. We don't care about permanent codes. Engine lights off. I don't know what was with this car. It probably had a reverse boost or who knows what, a few blown fuses. But it looks like we're back in business. AC is working. We're at 51. That's just a blown fuse. I'm going to have to tell them to get that fuse. I don't have it. Um, and about this can tool. It, it's really nice can tool. It feels really nice. It comes with a, a nice stand. Um, a few things I don't like about it. I don't like how they set up their data pids. I'm not sure if they're going to change that. Or I, I don't know. Maybe, they, maybe there's a way to change it in the settings. They'll reach out to me if there is. Um, what else? Really nice screen. Really nice feel. The battery seems to hold. Um, yeah, I'm not supposed to say this, but I dropped it a few times already and it held up. Yeah, I'm not so good with my tools. Uh, what else? Didn't try the camera. I don't know, I'll probably be using it here and there. I don't like the report so much. I don't like how you can't email them straight off the tool, which to me, I, every car I take, I take a report, I just email it to myself, and then I know I have it. When I'm writing invoices, it's just my computer. I don't know if this is there with my scan tool. Um, but yeah, otherwise, I don't know, a really nice tool. But, well, all right, this car was, was good. We got AC, we got the windows. Thanks for watching.